my line is now live. The link to my line is going to be in my description box. I'm going to make it first line so you guys can go click straight ahead. Woo! Let's do it. I suppose first things first is the jumper that I'm wearing. On the day that we did the shoot, it started pouring with rain and that was our very, very last shot that we got of the day. You'll see in the clip that I'll be putting over the top. I'm kind of going, ah, because it's raining and I'm like, oh my God, it's really, really cold in Byron. And we were all just so tired. I was so jet lagged. So I didn't really get a good shot of this jumper. That's why I'm wearing it today so that I can show you guys. In my shoot, I wore the brown and the white version of this in a size 8, but I actually am wearing the size 12 now because I prefer it big and baggy. The reason I made this jumper was I want it to be big and cozy and comfy and soft. I've done these huge bell sleeves because I think it's so flattering. Um, I wanted a big gap here, but also for it to be elasticated so that it's not just hanging down. It's like quite flattering on the wrist, I find. I actually have a similar jumper where I don't know where I got it from, but it's actually down to my sort of knee. It's not down to my knees, but it's down halfway through my thighs and it's a dress. And I hated that. I wanted to create a jumper. I think we nailed it. And so this brown one, which I'll obviously insert clips for you guys, is my favorite of the collection because I wanted it in a tan color. I think it's so cozy. I feel like a big teddy bear when I'm wearing it. It's such a beautiful tone. It's such a beautiful tone for winter. I'm obsessed with it. These jumpers are both handmade, so they take so long to make. They're extremely good quality. They are so soft. I can't even explain to you guys. And they're nice and thick, so I wanted it to be a winter jumper that was actually cozy. I find a lot of fashion jumpers out there. It's really hard to get a good jumper that looks really cool, but then is actually warm. So the biggest thing as well was that I wanted it to be really warm and thick. You're welcome. I called this jumper here the Jessica after my sister. My sister's name is Jessica. Jessica, I think it's cute. Jessica. And this guy here was actually supposed to be called Chookers. And I was so excited for it to be called the Chookers jumper because you can chuck it on, be big and baggy on your Sunday and eat your hungover Chookers greasy meal in your cozy jumper and you feel just great. There was a bit of miscommunication and it ended up <laughs> getting called the Pat, which is still cool. It's still relevant because it's my dad. That's my dad's name. And I love my dad more than anything. This is the Chookers. Okay. Sorry, Dad. All right, next up we have the daisy pants and the daisy crop. I wanted a really long, sleek pair of pants that were really flattering. It's high-waisted, but it doesn't go tight around your thighs. It's a grey and white small check print. They're fitted at the waist, which was important to me. For you girls out there that have like a bigger butt and legs, you'll understand what I mean. This we've created definitely a lot longer than a lot of pants that you guys will wear because I actually want them to drape the floor. Now when I wear pants, I think there's nothing cooler than having pet like a pair of pants actually touch the floor, not crop off. So for small girls that you buy this set, you might need to wear heels, but that's cool. Like I want it to touch the floor. So the top is a little crop. This took us a few goes to get right because originally I wanted it just to be like a tie that anyone could tie around their boobs and have it as tight or loose as they want and then have the balloon sleeves. But it just didn't work because every time you'd move or like slouch, it would just, your boobs would come out. So we ended up having to go with this, this gorgeous bust with a boning in it so that it's really secure. You could literally bend and slouch forward and it wouldn't come off. There's a lot of styles out there right now that are coming in with that ruching. Also, I wanted to make it really comfy and cool and it's casual but can be dressy, like you can wear it just to like a brunch or you can wear it with heels to an event. I love it and it's called the Daisy after my best friend. Daisy has been my best friend since year seven. She's taught me so much, I love her and I wanted to name something after her because she's so important to me. So next up we have the Bambi set, so the Bambi shirt and the Bambi shorts. This top in particular I've been wearing like literally every day because it is a really beautiful, good quality, thick linen. It has a raw hem, I really wanted it to look really unstructured and easy and effortless so you can see so we've purposefully left it super raw on the edge. I didn't want it to look business shirty like I, I know that I love wearing shirts but sometimes I do feel like when I wear a shirt I'm like I look like a boy don't I? So I wanted it to be as feminine as possible so I also decided to keep the buttons quite large and tortoise shell so that again it doesn't look like a business shirt. I love how this beige looks with the tortoise shell. We kept all the buttons the same so that everything throughout the collection um, sort of matches. The shirt is oversized, so it's supposed to be oversized. I wear a size 8, but that 
looks big on me still because it's supposed to be that way like I want it to be a big baggy cool shirt so you guys can go down or up depending on what you take from that now the shorts are so flattering and so cool because they have this paper bag waist these shorts are the most flattering pair of shorts I've ever owned and I'm gonna be wearing these every single day when I go to Europe like these are the most beautiful linen pair of shorts ever this will fit everyone because this will go really tight around the little little teeny waists but then if you have a little bit of a bigger waist like it just stretches a bit but it fits everybody like it's so comfortable on each pair of pants that I've designed I've got my little patch so I, I wanted to add to the really vintage look of it which has patches on the back of pants I think it's so cool and I love it when it's brown so I've designed a little rose here to go on the back of all the pants and just to keep it all again working together. Next up we have the two boob tube dresses. Now these dresses I love. They're so flattering on a figure. This dress is just so hot like it's very tight. It's not up everyone's alley. I want to make sure that this long dress which is called the chocolate which is a really deep chocolate brown um, had a slit at the back of it so it's easy to walk in. A lot of boob tube dresses you literally potter along like this and you can hardly walk whereas this you can easily walk in so the fabric is really really thick so you're not gonna have like bumps and lumps and everything hanging out all the time it's really good it's sturdy really sucks you in my god it, it makes me feel really good because it really makes me feel sucked in I'm really secure super super sophisticated with like a black pair of stiletto heels or a nude pair of heels and like slick back hair just like a pair of sunnies wear your hair out and have your white sneakers on like I love that it's super versatile then similarly we have this little sort of it's like a beigey like a beigey greyish which I just thought was a really interesting color both of these dresses are a cotton spandex jersey so it's just really thick and good quality and this one I just wanted to make for the party gal I wanted to bring out something like a little bit summery I made sure both of them had this um sticky it's like sticky plastic that just stays up so it never falls down you don't ever feel the need to pull it pull it up so it's really really secure oh and this one is called the Donna dress after Donna from Suits because I've just finished Suits and I'm obsessed with Donna and I want to be Donna so this is the Donna dress and I'd say this is like a mushroom color like a grazy beigey mushroom now next we have my absolute favorite thing in the collection I've worn it already so many times and you guys will have seen it all in my stories it's my Sammy dress I named this the Sammy dress because this is my ultimate perfect maxi dress I don't know about you guys, but if you wear maxi dresses, you would know that it's so hard to find a good maxi that like slings or is very flattering to your body, but then doesn't freaking flare out at the end. I can't stand that. And I just, I hate boxy maxi dresses. It was so important to me to find a maxi dress fabric that would sling to your body, but be super comfortable and not too tight, but then would also just as you stand just like fall to the floor and as you walk it moves with you and flows with you so this dress like as you walk it is not constricting at all like you can walk you can take leaps and strides in this dress it's a beautiful ribbed knit fabric which from far away you wouldn't be able to tell because you'd think it's like some really beautiful fancy fabric but it's literally so comfortable it only looks tight because it's literally just falling to my figure and it'll fall to anyone's figure as well I personally think halter neck is the most flattering flattering thing so I brought out two halter necks in my collection again it was super important to me that it could be dressed up for a formal event like you could wear it to a formal if you wanted um, with heels. It was also super important that you could wear it with sneakers, which is what I did to my event. I wore it just with some little black sneakers and socks and it was just sick. Like, I just love it. Yes. <laughs> what was next? Now we have the Gidget set. Now this is probably another one of my favorites. I love how this turned out. This is the epitome of just a sick vintage pair of comfortable linen pants. Tied around the waist, flow nicely. Again, we chose a really thick linen so that you can wear it in winter, um, but it's also really nice and loose that you'd be able to get away with it in summer if you wanted because it just it's not tight and hot. This is exactly the same as the shorts at the top. So got the paper bag waist, which is so flattering. We do have belt holes if you want to wear a belt, but you don't need it because it will be tight around your waist. This again is super easy to dress up or down. I wear these pants with black heels and a little black top, like a little black crop, and it looks super dressy and really sophisticated. I actually love the look of the shirt of this with denim jeans or the shirt of this with the beige shorts. They just complement each other really nicely. I've worn this shirt with my linen shorts and it looks really cool as well. That is the digit set after my 
beloved first child Gidget, our dog. Next up, one of the coolest things in the range, I think, <laughs> personally, is the Mandy set. Now this is named after my mum. My mum is my rock, I love her so much. Freaking love mum. <laughs> Everything that I'm wearing on this day in this shoot is a size 8. I would actually probably go like two or three sizes up to give it more of a baggy look because I want it to be huge. Like I want it to be really big. I would love to wear this with a massive pair of black stiletto heels slick my hair down in a like a low bun like this and wear like a bold brown lip or something and it would just look so cool. I love how this turned out. You can style it so many different ways. This one is really cool because you obviously you can put it with sneakers and a hat and you can wear it down to the, the coffee and it will look really casual on a Sunday. <clears throat> but I just think you can dress it up and make it look sick. Put a black lacy bralette underneath it and have it zipped all the way down so it's super sexy. So I'm going to try to style it up a few different ways and include it in vlogs to show you guys different ways that I will style it. This is perfect for festivals so if any of you guys are going to Splendor you should pick this up I'd say. Right so next we have the Chikatita set. So we've got the Chikatita top which is a bandeau top. You would have seen it in my I inserted some clips wearing my linen, beige linen set, and that was what I was wearing underneath it. It's actually a corduroy, like a cream coloured corduroy set. The top is a zip at the back. The pants as well are based off like a pair of jeans, so they're high waisted, kind of baggy and loose, so they're almost like a mum jean, but they're in a corduroy beige. And I really, I just thought corduroy was a perfect addition to the vintage range that I've tried to bring out. Again, you can dress up and down. Again, you can put the corduroy pants with anything. You can put it with like a little black midriff. You can put it with a big oversized jumper, a t-shirt. Like it's super casual, but super versatile. And you can put the bandeau with anything, like anything. Everything in this range is supposed to look oversized except for the tight dresses. I called that the Chikatita crop and pant because I am an absolute sucker for ABBA. I grew up listening to ABBA. We all danced around the house listening to musicals, Disney songs and ABBA and my mum is just ABBA queen so I wanted to call them like Dancing Queen or Mamma Mia or something but I just thought it was just <clears throat> Chicka tea towel was a little different and it was cute. Now we have the KT halter, which is literally KT after my little sister. If any of you guys have seen my sister, you know that she is my literal twin. She looks the same as me, and so I thought it would be cute to bring out the baby version of the dress, which I called the Sammy. So it's like the mini me, which she, this is the KT. This halter neck goes with every single thing in the range. You can put it with the shorts, the pants, the jeans, which I'm about to show you, the Chicka Tita corduroy set anything. I just wanted to have a little simple basic that um, would match anything. It's again that beautiful ribbed fabric which this is the this is the fabric of the dress. I wanted them to match because they were just such a flattering cool um, fabric. All right now finally last but certainly not least the Robinson jeans. I think a few of you are gonna be really excited about these ones. I am so excited about these ones. These jeans I wear every single day. I've never found a more perfect pair of jeans in my entire life. I wanted to bring out something that I could recreate for you guys and just give you, just give you my favorite piece of clothing ever. I've brought you guys the Robinson jeans. They're the Savvy Robinson jeans. I couldn't be happier with how these turned out. Obviously they're not exactly the same. We've got this gorgeous brown accent on the back. We've got the brown accents in the pockets. They, it's a beautiful, it's a little bit lighter of a denim than the one I own. It's a little darker, but I actually like this really vibrant blue in denims. I stay clear of like black and gray denims. I like it to be really vibrant. I think it looks really good with the tan. Look at this together. Like, don't you think that that blue just goes beautifully with the beige? But, oh my God, I don't even know what to say about these. I'm so excited to be bringing these out for you guys because you guys ask me all the freaking time where my jeans are from and I can't tell you because they don't exist anymore. They're just like an old pair of vintage denim that someone would have got rid of years ago. Be able to design my own pair of them take all my favorite parts of those jeans and put it into a pair of jeans for you guys just makes me so happy. My favorite thing ever to do is my beige linen shirt with these jeans, match made in heaven. My khaki shirt with these jeans, match made in heaven. So 
Oh my god, I am so excited. I'd also like to mention at the end that I do indeed have a brother and um, because I wasn't intending to call anything Pat, I obviously didn't call anything Dan. They're boys' names and now it just looks like I've left him out. So, love you Dan, sorry. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Go have a shop, go have a look. Let me know what you guys buy. It would be a dream come true if you guys bought anything and tagged me because I want to see you guys in my stuff. I really, 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 really want to see you guys wearing my stuff. So I just can't wait to see what it looks like on you guys. I'm so freaking pumped that you guys get to get your hands on it now. I'm not going to keep rambling on this video. It's absolutely ridiculously long. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. None of this could have been possible without you. You guys mean the world to me. I love you. And yeah, until next time. That was terrible. <laughs>